Hi there, Libra. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have Ace of Coin, Chariot, Fool, Seven of Coin, Judgment, Nine of Sword, Five of Sword, Strength Energy. All right, your person feels like they may have uh, confused you here. There's they're they're a bit overwhelmed here. It's interesting. I'm um this deck here. This this card kind of this one card kind of just popped out of here, and I looked at it here, and it's ten of. It's interesting. There's nine of nine of coin is on the bottom, and ten of sword. I feel like those cards want to join this reading. This ten of sword energy here. There's something weighing heavily on your person here with this nine of sword, five of sword here. They they're going through some sort of struggle. Um, they feel like mm, I don't know. Let's pull this here and and this nine of coin here. Can't really see them, but. Um, all right, let's just, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. You know, I was, tried to pull eight cards for this and, you know, ten cards wanted to come out. So there's something about a completed cycle here. Uh, your person is, like, trying to uh, gather their confidence here, move forward, begin again here. They're, they're doing a lot of thinking here, a lot of contemplating, like maybe too much contemplating, like maybe overthinking things, like because... Um, there's something they've got to clear their mind here. It's interesting because we got all these swords, a lot on their mind. We got seven of coin here. It's like, um, you know, seven of coins, a lot of thoughts, you know, deep in thought. Yet in their thought space, we have the fool energy. So it's like clearing their mind, clearing their mind, um, and making decisions that are best for them, you know, starting over, like, be, like, um, Letting bygones be bygones, um, refuse to overthink things. I feel like your person like made a lot of. Um, I'm gonna say I made a lot of mistakes, but uh, you know I don't. I don't know. I always say there are no right or wrongs. There are no mistakes. You know the things that happen, the choices we make, um, just give us different life experiences. He, you know, it's not necessarily that we did something wrong. Um, or maybe we just made a choice that brought us down a road that, you know, now we realize I'd like to choose again because it's not quite where I'm meant to be here. Your person's doing a lot of struggling here. I feel like they feel like they messed up this relationship with you. They did something or they said something or they didn't say what they should have, could have, would have. It's a lot of overthinking is what I'm getting. But I feel like they have the ability to clear their mind here or they're at least working on clearing their mind and they're hoping that you know they'll receive some forgiveness along the way for you know doing something that hurt you or something or you there's something you um, all right let's just let's just clarify these cards and see if we can make more sense here because there's some confuse it's not mm, I know it's hard to even explain what these cards are saying. So I want to say like it's like there's some confusion, but it's it's um it's it can be cleared up. Like let's clear up the confusion. Let's not overthink things. Let's just you know draw on our own power here. Step into our own power here. We got the strength in this nine of coin wanted to um come out in this reading also. So let's clarify. Your person's current energy right now is Ace of Coins. So they want a new beginning. They definitely are thinking about a solid new beginning. They their, their current energy is Ace of Coin. What they're desiring is judgment. So they want to make things right in the real world. They want to, you know, follow their, their soul guidance here. They want to move forward. They want a fresh new start. But sometimes they get in their own way. You know, sometimes they feel like, is it too late? Did I mess things up too much? You know, did I muddle, did I muddy the waters 
too much. You know, it, it, you know, can I return and make amends with you is what I'm getting. They want a fresh start here. Yeah, nine of cups. They want that happiness. You know, they have a lot of regrets that they didn't tell you how they felt sooner or or they just didn't know how to uh, tell you all what was going on in their mind here. But they're ready to move forward now with this chariot energy. Eight of sword. Yeah, it's like I feel like they're something held them back and it was their thoughts, you know, more swords here. Swords are all about thoughts and, and communication and they just weren't able to tell you how they truly felt and now they feel like, you know, shoot, did I mess it up? You know, is it too late? Can I fix this? You know, am I, you know, doomed now that I made uh, a decision that, that I regret? Uh, we'll, we'll say that. We'll call it that. We've got the fool three of wands. Yeah, your person's now thinking about the possibilities of the future here. Like, can we start fresh? Can we let go of the... Um, things can we let go of the past whatever happened in the past doesn't matter it's the past the past is the past let's see if we can release it let it go and move on from there you know we do have this tens you know ten of swords is the end of that you know it's interesting we've got we've got um eight of sword nine of sword ten of swords it's like your person's like you know ready to bust it to seams as far as their thoughts go it's like it's like too it's almost too much to handle here and this seven of coin energy is more of a, a reflective card like okay let's slow down let's like consider okay um you know wh where were we where are we and what are the possibilities moving forward here queen of sword energy okay so yeah they're trying to clear their mind here it's interesting because the queen of sword for me you know, is very matter of fact. Queen of Swords knows what she wants and she doesn't let anyone sway her um, from what she thinks and what she desires and what she wants. She's very um, clear-minded. She has clarity and she knows. She's very uh, practical and, and just uh, this is the way it is and, and we go from here is what I'm getting there. Six of Cups. Yeah, your person wants a, a second chance with you. They want to return to you here. They want to stop, you know, thinking all of these thoughts, clear their mind and begin again here. Return to you here. Judgment energy. It's like, let's make amends here. Let's start over here. King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's there's like real confidence. There's taking back your power here. Judgment and King of Pentacles is feeling like balanced in their their uh their physical body their physical world and their spiritual world like there there's something your person's like making the connection now like they're they're um becoming um i don't know if it's becoming enlightened but they're becoming aware of their soul mission and they haven't been really used to that or maybe they made some choices and decisions that led them further away from their soul mission now they're realizing oh boy i got i got some things to um fix here i got some things to alter here yeah we got this devil card here it's like there's some regrets here um there's some things that they put their energies into that just didn't pan out now they want to change things now they want to step back into their power isn't that interesting we got the devil and the star so it's just it's the, the polar opposite energy the devil can be about you know the physical world and the star is about the you know the uh the the spiritual world here and it's like i feel like the two worlds are colliding your person's um, soul mission, their spiritual world is colliding with their physical world. And they, they're stepping into their power now. I feel like maybe they're drawing on their own, they're drawing on that, um, the both worlds, you know, the feminine and the masculine energies here. You know, we do have the caduceus here on this particular strength card. It's like, you know, the silver and gold intertwining. This is, you know, this is a healing symbol, the caduceus. Things are happening here, like Archangel Raphael coming in to, you know, mix the spiritual with the material here and, and being able to move forward, reconnect here. Yeah, your person wants a second chance with you with, this, with the two of 
Wands. They want to reconnect with you here. They think about it all the time, and they're trying to, uh, you know, manifest a new reality here with you. Nine of Coins Magician is like taking their power back, realizing that they can make change. They can move forward here. We got Six of Sword on the bottom of this deck. Bottom of this deck, we got Three of Sword. It's like there's something about having a lot of regrets. They regret some choices that they made uh, that led them to a place that was very unfulfilling. But they're ready to, you know, move forward here, return to you, make different decisions. We got the Queen of Sword here. So we saw that twice. So that's clearing their mind, eliminating the worry about moving forward and just trusting. You know, we saw the Fool. Fool is trusting here. Five of Cup energy. It's like we're, things have to change here your person is like really has a lot of regrets about the choices they made and they wonder you know can I fix it is it possible can I choose again yes choose again here you know with the two two of swords two of swords is about you know decisions and and twos here we have the two of wands two of sword energy Twos are about partnerships. You know, where is this uh, relationship going? Can we uh, discuss uh, a new a new way? Can we manifest a new reality? Uh, I feel like your person is like taking back their soul power, their spiritual power, and it's helping them in their material world, in their physical life here. It's like the two worlds are colliding and they want a second chance with you uh, is what I'm getting here. All right. I'm going to read a moon oracle message in closing. Um, we have the love card. So, yeah, your person has like strong emotions for you. And it's like they can't like put it into words with all these swords. It's like it's too much thinking and not enough loving, I guess. All right. Let's read this in closing. One of the utmost important things you can do in your lifetime is to love yourself unconditionally. You are so important and worthy of self-love. If you can learn to accomplish this one thing, all else will fall into place. You'll be able to love others and spread your gifts to the world and all around you. Love your life wickedly hard and it'll love you back even more intensely. Let go of your fears. Do not judge yourself too harshly at this as this could hold you back. Now is your chance to radiate your passion for life and to share your gifts with others. Respect your mind, body, and soul. Teach your entire being with tremendous devotion and the endless love that you deserve. Peace be with you. Bye now.